guys, Trend Games here, and today we are going to be going over the foundations category. Uh, thank you to the person who gave me the suggestion. Very nice of you. And sorry, and apologies for not uploading yesterday. I was a bit busy and wasn't exactly in the mood, but now I am. And I'll gladly look over the look over everything in the foundations and give you either my further insight or opinion on it. So let's start with server administration. This for the description. This includes permissions, roles, automatic restarts, as well as booting on underlining OS restart, recon with implementations for in-game chat, command line, etc., and run web WebSocket for server. Question mark. Allowing server administration through simple remote website web control. So instead of you actually having in many other like custom servers, you have to install uh, a thing called Rocket Mod, which gives you a thing to actually give people roles and permissions. I mean, obviously, Unturned has its own built-in admin system where you can just do slash admin the uh, command console, and you can make them an admin. I don't think it's slash admin, but whatever. But this will give a new thing, like you can give someone a step down from admin. You can actually customly cut. You might make custom like programming for roles. So it's pretty neat. Let's go into replays. Now this is exciting, especially for uh, uh, cin like cinematics. Very exciting. Replay uh, replays are built on top of the multiplayer systems, but everything needs to work with them so safest to start early dedicated server replay saves client replay saves or replay browser replay viewer potential option to upload a workshop i'm not sure how backwards compatible the replay feature is but i assume it's fairly robust considering it doesn't rely on deteriorism my bad so if any of you played Fortnite, I played Fortnite, they have a replay system, so it's very similar to this one. And you can do many things like you, like, other than watch yourself play, you can go into, like, free cam mode, and you can, like, slow down and move up the speed, which can make for some really, uh, true pieces of art cinematics for unturned, so that is pretty interesting. Now, spectating. All the fe uh, description, all the features need to work, uh, with spectating. So supporting it early will make this more consistent. Admin option to join game as spectator. Player option to join game as friend spectator. Spectator needs to be able to see everything the same as the target player. Example HUD. So that could be useful for some like tournaments. When you're hosting a tournament, you can spectate everyone, fight like fighting. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's. Yep, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Server queue description: Implementing online beacons early is important, and will be used for a lot of pre-connection information. Show number ahead and behind in queue. Option to exit queue. Priority queue configurable by admins. So there are some. So I remember. Uh, do like doing that just like weighing the queue for some servers sometimes the uh it's good that he's gonna add, add like an exit queue he already has it's called like a cancel button but sometimes it doesn't work due to like server lag or something like that so that's going to be uh, pretty helpful for him to add this in the future now mod downloading load mods at startup hooks for steam workshop Retrieval of mod info from server. Make sure the player knows what mods they're currently downloading. Potential support for direct server to client file transfer. Server download mods at start of hooks on Steam Workshop. So I believe. Didn't he? Okay, my bad. Retrieval workshop. So it's technically going to be like a complete revamp. Of work or remake of like the work of like workshop, just new mods, and Nelson said, and also Nelson might have said uh, said something about at going to uh actually importing some of the mods to the Epic Launcher. So that's pretty 
neat. If you know what I'm saying. Now, second to last complex automated test tests. Unreal technically has support for these, but they're not very well documented and will probably require some custom stuff. Further down the road, I'd like to automate these sort of things. Start up a ser uh, server and connecting with fake clients to ensure MPU works. Screenshot comparisons for different places on the map to catch graphic bugs. Now that's interesting. If I'm if I know what he's actually like properly saying is that you can add in custom sort of bots to like fake like or fake clients. That's what he's saying. To like join the servers to see if they work, which means you don't actually need a friend to come on with you, to like come on with you to test at the server. If you don't have any friends like me, <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm perfectly fine, but. Yeah, and if he's actually having fake cl uh, clients like dummies or something, or I wouldn't say dummies, just like, yeah, that would actually that'd be pretty neat. Yeah. All right. Now the last thing for sorry foundations is implement uh, replication graphic or graph. Sorry, Re uh, Unreal recently introduced their re uh, replication graph feature, which aims to improve scalability performance wise of multiplayer games so I will work on integrating this early on games using the replicate uh, uh, cation grass need to have some specific rules I think I, uh, this will be particularly particularly useful for handling some of the item inner item dependencies yeah it's all for foundations like I said, tell me what you guys want me to say. Uh, do next in the comments. Third-party integration, active development, or possibly rec recently completed, or the about section. I'd love to hear your opinion, or just tell me, or just tell me how you were. That's pretty much it. Uh, appreciate you all. Thank you so much for 35 subs. It's a pretty good milestone. I remember just a couple months ago, I was really struggling with uh, 27 so with your guys support we managed to do it thank you so much uh, this is uh, today's video and bye